They say all good things come to an end. And I've had a great time on my MTL7, done a ton of videos, loving this bike. But you know what? I think it's time to part ways and time for a change that I want to tell you about. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe to First off, before I tell you about selling the MTL7 and the new changes with my channel, I just want to say I've been seeing a lot of reports of motorcycle riders getting killed in accidents lately, including Treat Williams, the famous actor who died in a motorcycle accident recently. I did a video showing the recreation of his accident and what could have saved his life. If you haven't seen it, go check it out, top right corner of this video. But had he had on this simple airbag vest, this could have saved his life. I have a link to it in the description and comment section of this video. If you don't have one, get one now, guys. This is a lifesaver. This is not only gonna help save your life, but it'll help keep you from ending up in a wheelchair if you get an accident. So many riders get paralyzed, and this will help prevent that. Also, I have my favorite helmet, ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an automatic tent shield, and links to all my other gear in the description and comment section of this video. MTL7 guys, it's awesome bike. I can't say anything really bad about it, man. The sound is amazing. Uh, torquey. Uh, lightweight. It just feels good. It's a it's an amazing bike. I, I I thought I'd never get rid of this bike as long as I'm riding, but you know what, guys. I don't have room, look in here, I don't have room for another bike. And as you guys know, for the last, what, I've been on YouTube for over 11 years and I've had over, what, 12 bikes. I get a new motorcycle every year. So I gotta keep up with that theme. I like to, you know, get new content, new bike, share it with you guys. So I gotta keep the ball rolling and you know, you know, I'm not selling my YZ 450FX custom supermoto, baby. That's number one. Like I told you in my last video, this ain't going nowhere unless I get a new one of these, which I might do, <laughs> maybe. Um, but that's staying. But unfortunately, the MTL 7's got to go. And I've had it since September of last year. Like I said, I changed bikes. At, you know, I try to get a new one every year. So the next bike I get, though, I'm thinking about doing a two-stroke supermoto build. Let me know. What do you think about that? Now, I talked about that in the past, but that's the only thing I really haven't done, man. Um, now, Harley Davidson, I know some of you guys are like Psycho Cruiser. Try the Harley Davidson. Get that bagger, man. or, or Har Just get one. You know what I'm saying? Quit talking smack about them and just try owning one. Honestly, I, like I told you guys, I don't really see... The value in them, I said, I love, it's got great torque, they're good looking bikes and everything, they're very expensive, I feel like you don't get the best bang for your buck with them, but hell, I might get one, man, to share with the channel, you know what I'm saying, um, what do you guys think, <laughs> leave a comment, or what do you think I should get, leave a comment below and tell me, man, which bike do you think I should get, because I've had pretty much everything I wanted, man, I've had all the different types of bikes, um, and now I'm even messing with e-bikes and e-scooters. I got a bike. I got five e-bikes now and two e-scooters, man. By the way, that Varla Eagle One scooter that I revealed recently that does over 40 miles an hour, um, I, that review video is coming soon. I had to delay it because we had some bad weather. We had bad air quality from the Canadian air forest fires. And then uh, we had a lot of rain and stuff, so it delayed it. But that is coming up. And also, they uh, another company sent me uh, a brand new 2024 bike that I have to do a reveal and video. And that's supposed to be awesome. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'm all about trying new things, man. You see, I've done. <laughs> look, I, I've even done a golf cart build, man. Reveal. Uh, I'm all about anything and everything, just having fun and trying new things and sharing with the ch sharing with you guys. What you think I should try some other stuff? Maybe like go karts or something too, man. Tell me, man. Leave a comment below. I need to get one of them little Gromskis, one of them them little mini bikes and mess around, little f around bikes, man. I might get one of them little suckers too, man. Now that might fit up here in the garage, that little thing. I could stick that up in the corner around here somewhere, man. So I might get one of them little busters too, man. 
But leave a comment. Let me know. Now, some of you guys talking about an ADV bike. You cycle cruiser. Get the ADV bike, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That's, I'm telling you, if I get into touring, I'll tell you. ADV bikes make the best touring bikes, man. That would be number one on my list to get an ADV bike. Probably a Honda Africa Twin or something, man, for touring. So I'm not totally hating on them, but for what I do, being a hooligan around here, riding in the woods and stuff, you can't really do that with no ADV bike. They're too heavy, man. But for touring through the, or across the country, hell yeah, those things are awesome for that. So, you know what I'm saying? No, I love all the motorcycles, guys. Just some better than others. It just depends. You know, my type style of riding, which the supermoto light baby i'm telling you man so many of you guys are don't ride a supermoto because you're short but i'm telling you there's a girl on youtube i think her name i don't know what her name is but she's like five foot four and she she's like a stunt rider on a supermoto she does wheelies and all kinds she's amazing five foot four and you little dudes out there complaining man and this little chick out here riding like a boss on a supermoto you just use one foot as a kickstand, man. It stops. It ain't a big deal, dude. Get one. But I just wanted to give you an update and let you guys know what's going on here. I'm, I'm doing a total renovation of my house. You check it out here. This is one of the rooms I renovated. Uh, man, this thing looked like the 80s before, guys. But I'm turning this into a custom home theater. Here's the guest room. Totally renovated. Uh, smart recess lighting, new flooring, new paint, everything. Totally different look. This is what it used to look like. <laughs> Straight out of the 80s, dude. Here's the kitchen makeover. It's amazing how adding paint and new modern handle hardware to the cabinets can completely change the look of the kitchen. And I also redid the walls. Look at that textured walls, baby. Yeah. Looks way better and more modern now for cheap. Here's a pantry. Check it out. Look at that. No wires, baby. Clean. Nintendo 64. Yeah. Still need to do the floors. This is what the kitchen used to look like. Like I said, straight out of the 80s. Here is the dining room makeover. Check it out. New textured walls. New flooring. New lighting and a new modern glass dining table. I have a link to this dining table if you want to get it in the description and comment section of this video. It is awesome. Look how thick that glass is. Ultra modern chairs, but these are very comfortable. This is what the dining room used to look like, complete with red carpet and floral wallpaper. <laughs> and here is the living room makeover. I completely painted all the trim white and it made a big difference. Painted the window trim white. Check it out. Painted the walls antique white. Check that area rug. Here I'm putting a 70 inch TV here. I, I put this outlet jack here above so there's no wires when I put the TV up. This is what the living room used to look like. Talk about a throwback. Here's my home gym makeover, which I showed you in a previous video. I'll tell you, that flooring is awesome, which I have a link to. This is what it used to look like with that ugly red carpet. House isn't done. Still got a long ways to go, but man, so far it's transforming to a really nice modern home. When I finish my house, I do a tour of my house, but it's coming along beautifully. But some of you guys asked me about this, this skill table saw. When I had a brand new in the box, I'm going to tell you, uh, I'll give you a little review on this. I'll tell you, this thing is absolutely awesome. I've been putting laminate flooring in my house, man. And I'll tell you, this combat is lightweight for a table saw, and it is awesome. This is, I have a link to it if you want to get it in the description and comment section of this video. It's inexpensive, lightweight amazing man awesome 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 but anyways guys i got a lot of videos coming up appreciate all you guys leave a comment below on the next bike because it's time to replace the good old mt07 man stay tuned baby make sure to hit thumbs up hit the subscribe button hit that little bell symbol so you get notified when my new videos come out but i release new videos every sunday tuesday and thursday at 11 30 a.m eastern standard time check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos 
Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.